Hey guys, and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. For the month of February, we've once again got access to five amazing different assets which are free for this month only. So we have Simpoly Town, Character Body Effects Volume 1, Modular Sci-Fi Village, Bank Building Interior Modular, and the Ultimate FPS Puzzle Kit. So without further ado, let's get started and start covering these. So first things first, let's start with Simpoly Town. So this town is a pack containing all elements necessary to create top quality modular town related games. This environment is designed for exteriors, so there's no interior stuff with this, but you could of course adapt it and add some interiors if you did want to. So some important notes on this are this environment pack is a simple art style and is part of a Simpoly series. So included in this pack are more than 150 different models, and these include houses, walls, barrels, lamps, fences, street lights, cars, trees, modular roads, and many, many more. There's also a variety of props to choose from, landscape, ground, and grass textures, bird flying animations, particle systems of wind, textures and material color variations, and a massive demo map with both day and night variations, as well as an overview map. Some of the more technical details of this are it features high quality game environments, modular wall, road, fence, and electric poles, high quality props, shared alternate materials to create more color options, it works great for different game genres, it can achieve all sorts of different looks, and easy to use game level design. In total, there's 154 unique meshes, all of which have custom and automatically generated collision, and the triangle count on these range from 10 to 7,000. So as you can tell, it's very, very low poly. And due to that, there's no need for any LODs, so there isn't any. There's five materials and 36 material instances, and there's 41 textures, ranging from the text resolutions of 512 to 1K. So this is a very kind of stylized, low poly, simple art style project, but it works absolutely great if that's the style you want to go for. I think this looks absolutely amazing. Next up is the Character Body Effects Volume 1. So this is a selection of Niagara effects that attach to characters. So the list of different effects in this are there is bubbles, buttons, chains, coins, crystals, diamonds, fire, flowers, grass, glitter, light orbs, pixels, rocks, sticky notes, toilet paper, and twigs. So there's some kind of random ones in there, but you can see we have a lot of different variety in the kind of effects we have on this. And so these effects will also attach to any type of skeletal mesh. So in total, there are 19 emitters and 16 systems, and a demo map shows how the effects are attached to the characters. The type of emitters are both CPU and GPU, and again, there are 16 unique effects. These do also have LODs, there's 26 materials and 2 instances, and 51 textures. The number of unique meshes is 17, and 2 skeletal meshes. So this is a pretty quick one to cover, again this is more of just kind of a visual, you're seeing what you get, and these look absolutely amazing, very very high quality as you can see, and I think my favorite one from this is probably the rocks, as I can really imagine a good use case for that, but obviously all of these would work amazingly. Next is the modular sci-fi village. So these are some models for creating scenes of this city or village of the future. So this pack includes three types of prefabricated building structures that can be assembled at will. There's also ladders, platforms, lampposts, lanterns, and benches to decorate the scene. The residential design includes small podium, carpet, armchair, bed, several tables, and a partition, and all the pivots are tuned for the optimal build. There is also a hover model skeleton without animation, but you can use the built-in editor to create an animation for it. So in total, there are 92 unique meshes, all of which have automatically generated collision. The vertex count ranges from 12 to 88,000, and there is also LODs on these meshes as well, all of which are automatic. In total, there's 25 materials and 162 material instances, and there's 498 textures, ranging from 1K all the way up to 4K. So there's not a lot to say on this on the Marketplace page. Again, it's just one of these ones where you'd see it more than have to read about it, but this looks absolutely amazing. If this is the kind of style you want to go for for sci-fi, this works absolutely perfectly, and because it's all modular, you can really just expand upon it and build it how you want it to look. You have these assets, and you can then just create the kind of scene and environment you want to create using these assets. Now we have the Bank Building Interior Modular. So this Bank Building Interior is a complete bank interior environment pack, which also includes building of the bank, so you can easily change the size and look of the interior as well. 
So also if you want to maybe just use the exterior, so as you're walking down the street you've got the exterior of a bank building, you can do that as well. There's also an example blueprint arranged for the bank which is visible in showcase renders and users of the pack can customise anything in the environment easily by using wall, ground, door, ceiling and props. The technical details of this are it's fully customisable, you have a full bank interior and it includes the whole building and exterior as well. In total there's 126 unique meshes, all of which have collision and LODs and there's 147 materials in material instances. For these materials there's 306 textures with the resolutions being 1K and 2K. And as I said with the last one as well, this is also modular so again you can completely customise how you want this to look. So you can get something which looks completely different to how they've got it set up or completely different to how I might set up or whoever else has this pack. Basically you can just build any kind of bank that you want. So this looks absolutely amazing. And finally, last but not least, it is the ultimate FPS puzzle kit. So this kit contains everything you need to create first person puzzles and this set does not require any knowledge of blueprints either. So this set is designed in such a way that you can make puzzles without even knowing how to work with blueprints and at the same time adding your own elements is also quite simple because the asset is also modular. So this is modular in a different aspect, the other ones were modular because you could take one wall piece for example and use that multiple times, this is modular because you can take one puzzle piece and use that multiple times. So this asset also includes many objects as well, these being lasers, cubes, buttons, doors, reflectors and redirectors of lasers. There's also custom animations, customizable from the parameters and sliders including 2D coordinates, time dilation acceleration and much much more. So a good way that I could find to describe this pack is if you've ever played Portal, imagine that basically. This is basically Portal without the portals, which might sound like there's nothing, but basically what I mean is the puzzles you get in Portal, so being able to pick up and move cubes, using cubes on pressure plates, using cubes to redirect lasers, and being on moving platforms, all of this stuff that you get in Portal is in this as well. I think that is a perfect way to describe it. So some more features and technical details of this are the assets fully supports modifying and adding sounds. You can do levels without creating any blueprints. Each activating object can interact with each activated in any quantity. Boolean block which contains all the necessary options such as and, or, not, once, timer and delay and others and this creates levels of any complexity. In total there are 39 blueprints, 1 structure and 5 enums and the input is keyboard and mouse. This is however not network replicated so that is something to keep in mind. So this again I think looks absolutely amazing. If you wanted to really make puzzles this is absolutely perfect for it. Again the best way I can describe it is portal but that doesn't mean it's not unique in its own way it's just that is a good way to describe it. But you can really make some either complex or pretty easy puzzles with this and I think it looks absolutely amazing like I say. But with that I think that will be it for this video on this month's monthly free assets for February 2023. So thanks so much for watching this video. I think my favourite one this time around is probably the Ultimate FPS Puzzle Kit just because I think that can be really easily expanded upon and you can make loads of different kind of games with that. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one was for this month as well. And again thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful with just me going over and showcasing these different assets and kind of giving my opinion on them a bit as well. And if you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.